Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and Amateur Radio. Now, before you switch off, I know, I can, I can see you going to hit that button going, ah, fucking... Uh, and I know why. Because whenever someone says Amateur Radio is a hobby, immediately you think of some old man sitting in a wee dingy shed with a radio and going breaker, breaker, 439, whatever, and talking to someone else who's doing the exact same thing. And, yeah, I can see where you got that image from. But that's not really what amateur radio is. It's a big element of it, like just keying up and um, transmitting and talking to people. That is an element of it. But it's far more focused um, on the experimentation. And that's that's the whole goal of amateur radio, is to be essentially an experimenter, is to have an idea and try it. And the exams that you sit, which are dead simple, um, help give you that knowledge, even from a complete novice. I mean, I went through them, so I mean, geez, anyone can. Um, the, the knowledge that they give you allows you to be able to competently create things um, and understand how electronics works on many different levels. And that's what amateur radio is about. And I think it's odd that there isn't a rise in more people going into amateur radio with the rise of the uh, maker, um, people, uh, yeah, culture, maker culture is the word I was looking for. Um, because maker culture is um, electronics, it's Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, all that good stuff, home automation, making things and, and you know, for the most part I think it's very much finding, finding a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. But, you know, it's fun and it's experimentation. And within amateur radio, sorry, cobweb there, um, within amateur radio, that's, that's what it's all about. And um, it also then gives you better privileges. So at the minute, if you have no license at all, you're not allowed to transmit on certain frequencies. In fact, general rule, you're not really allowed to transmit at all apart from 2.4 gigahertz and uh, 433 megahertz. And um, those are the sort of junk bands that more or less anyone can, but there are still restrictions um, on what you can output and power levels and all that good stuff. And you also cannot make your own transmitter you're you're not allowed it is illegal to make your own radio transmitter from scratch now if you have a kit that's that's okay um but once you go through the exams that gives you privileges to be able to transmit and um, the foundation license you're allowed to transmit at 10 watts on most of the amateur bands um intermediate 25 watts and a full license then allows you to make um transceivers and you can start ramping up your power uh, i believe 100 watts so I think there should be a larger influx of people going into amateur radio or even just looking at it as, as a thing because you don't need to go through and do foundation, intermediate, full. I mean, you can go to the intermediate or the foundation. It's very easy to do, it's very simple and it gives you a taste of the hobby. And it is a hobby full of other hobbies like 3D printing has came into it. Um, the Raspberry Pis, Arduino, all of that is all linked in. People have made some very, very, very cool things. Um, using amateur radio as like a yeah, as a spine for it, sort of the bedrock, and then have built upon it from there with all this other stuff. And it's a very, very cool um, hobby. Um, on the channel, I'm going to be doing a hell of a lot more stuff with amateur radio because I've finally got my license. And um, I'm going to be doing antennas and, and kits. Um, I currently have a kit on the way for 40 meters, which is HF uh, 7 megahertz-ish. Um, and it's for Morse code. And uh, I'll talk more about it whenever I get it, but it's, it's very cool. So yes, um, for any amateur radios, 7.3 for anyone else. We'll see you later.